Good morning. Um, stream deck, please. Yeah, it's not working, Steven. <laughs> oh. Where is the clicking? Where do I click to make it work? Oh, I know they can hear me. Good morning, everyone. No, I have no idea where to click at all. Are you looking at OBS? Yes. Okay. Thanks. It's okay. Hi everyone. The stream deck button does not connect to the right uh, scene switching button. So I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> oh, we had five gift subs. Thank you, Mark from Vermont. They went to uh, Jimmy Arts, Bleepinator. Kirdolia, Moist Crunchy Potato, and Lego Man 1326. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. It's the last breakfast stream of 2021. I don't know how loud that was for everyone else, but it was loud in person. That was my little song. Um, and I call the song the last breakfast stream of 2021. You know why that was so loud? It's accurately named. Because I sang it up the hall and it just reverberates off the hallway walls until it gets up here as just a, a bomb of noise. Morning, everybody. Did you know? That it's the last breakfast stream of 2021. It's true. It's true. You also notice that um, the cups have taken just a little vacation. Just a little vacation. They they, they take a little vacation at the end of the year, and they'll be back next year. So they're just taking a little little vacation. Do they? You can st I guess you can st technically still redeem them if you want to change your, your colored text for the on-screen chat. But right now, they just... They just... They chill. They, they, they chill. They went, um, where did they go? Nashville. They went to Nashville. They wanted to do a little vacation there. Anyway, morning. Um, before we get too far, a few things on my mind that I have to tell you because I'll forget because my mind's brain, my mind's brain. <laughs> yeah, brain for your brain. Exhibits in the corner like My mind's brain wants you to know It's only been a minute. It's already turning into one of those streams <laughs> My mind's brain wants you to know that Fan favorites are a thing that you can submit moments to from the vlog and also breakfast stream and that you should consider doing that. You've got, you've got, you've got two weeks. But do it in the next week. <laughs> you've got two weeks, but you should probably do it in the next, next week. Um, so if there's anything that happened at any time in 2021, whether on Breakfast Stream or on uh, the vlog, you're like, ooh, that was neat, then, uh, Throw, throw it in there. Good time to revisit vlogs in this in this next week or so. If you're like, oh, there was a vlog that was really cool and it had a thing in it that made me go, ha! Okay, we'll go find it, which one that was, and get it in there. Because we do, uh, for those who aren't aware, we do a, uh, a video every year called Fan Favorites, and it's basically the best moments either funny or memorable of the vlog every year. And we've done that for a long time. Uh, and then we also have done um, breakfast stream favorites, which is the best moments of the year from breakfast stream. So if you've got things that have happened that are very funny, that you're like, oh, I remember that. 
make sure you submit it to that, that form. The next thing, hold on, this is gonna be a crunch. I could have been louder. Just like front. The next thing is that we are streaming tomorrow night. Oh, it's Friday tomorrow. I spent all day yesterday thinking that yesterday was Tuesday. I had a, quite a shock at the end of the day yesterday when I was like, what do you mean tomorrow is Thursday? <laughs> So that was fun. Um, but tomorrow is Friday. And we're going to be doing a stream on the normal time. We're going to be playing a game. I have an idea of what we're going to play. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to play, but I'm like 99% sure what we're going to play. Just got to get it set up. And then we'll be doing a Q&A. Our, our now annual Q&A. And then we're going to be watching... The ball drop. The word watch may be subjective. It may be watching in your mind's eye. <laughs> your brain's brain. Your brain's your brain. Your mind's brain. Your mind's brain. So, um... You know. We'll have a good time. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll have a good time. That's it. That was a matter of so anyway, that's the stuff. I don't believe Twitch is supplying us a clean feed of the ball drop. Clean feed. Yeah, Ricky's cousin Dale, he lives up there. He, he can just stick a webcam out his window. He can see the ball. Perfect. Anyway, if you're not doing anything New Year's Eve, um... We got you covered, basically, is what I'm saying. So, it'll be fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, relaxing and bringing in the new year. We did, we actually did this last year as well, and it was, um, it was fun. It was fun. Not a bad idea, Josh. We'll just get some baling wire or chicken wire like my dad did to make the ornaments that they have hung up on the palm trees. It seems like a perfect plan, uh -huh. to be honest. You want to sit? If you so choose. I'm almost done with my toast. I finally got that vlog out yesterday. Hi, sweetheart. About the the story that I had told on Breakfast Stream about pro, pro, let's say protecting protecting Kepler. Hmm? Are you offering me his tail? You still hungry? So I'm glad that that's out. And now we're just a hop, skip, and a jump away from uh, getting to um, Christmas and getting that vlog yeah, out. Buddy. So it's 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 been it's been a journey. I spent a lot of yesterday like a, a lot of yesterday um, working on a working on a future uh, stream series layout went through like 15 revisions I know you texted me 15 revisions to see <laughs> design is an iterative process Final. Jess says, I only got two revisions. Oh, it changed from the one I sent you. Because I didn't like the one I sent you. I knew we were getting there, but I didn't like it. And since then, I had, there was one moment last night after all these revisions, I was staring at it and I was like, I was like, I got it. And then I did it and I was like, yeah, that's it. That's the one. I was like, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's for our Connect 4 LP. I hope everyone's excited about it. <laughs> 100 episodes. We're calling it Connect 400. I ate my toast. 
Well, it'll have to be collaborative because I'm not going to play Coffee. 100 episodes. Are you sure? Because mm -hmm. it probably won't take you long <laughs> to win. To win against me. Why is your chin wet? He had a drink. He came from downstairs. He was having breakfast. Little bricky boy. Now he's tired. He burned. All right, let's read these things. We have a sub from Bouncy1920. Welcome. 20 months from Jillips. Eight months from uh, Rykitsune. 29 months from Board Turtle. Seven months from Just Camden. 22 months from Just KGB. KJB. 40 months from DC20 Will Save. 16 from Starbloom Fay. 9 from Alien Whale. 6 from JT Slasher. 23 months from Maximin. 34 months from Waste and Aeon. 35 months from Dark Nature XD. 26 months from Noah. 300 from Aldo who says, uh, I've been watching vlogs from earlier in the year for reasons, and now I'm curious how much taco seasoning you guys have left. So, real talk, we just made tacos less than a week ago, just a few right days ago. Right before Christmas. And I was getting the jar out, and we still have more than half of that container. And I told now, I said, this was the greatest mistake I've ever made. And it's true. It's true. You did true. make it a little spicier, I think, than it should be. So I improved it. I improved the formula. The, 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 yeah, it's still it's still good. It's still good. It's almost everything was brand new that one in it. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm actually really glad that I did that because it made so much that we don't have to think about it for a while, and it's great. I have absolutely no regrets. I mean, I had a lot of regrets at the time. And then it turned into no regret. There are very, very few times in life where you make a mistake that turns into something you're proud of. Usually a mistake is just like, oh God, a mistake. But sometimes you get lucky and you make a mistake and then you're like, wait, this is actually a good thing. So anyway. Okay, that's very good vibes. Good vibes. Stay, stay as as safe as possible. But I mean, at some point, you know, you just you're just doing your best and, and crossing your fingers to an extent. But I certainly wish you and your family well. Speaking of, that was uh, 37 months. Great, that's very. Uh, we also had uh, 100 bits from Casper Stone Nature. 300 from Night Owl says, Get those breakfast stream moments in. Gonna be scrubbing through to find all the moments today. Uh, again, we appreciate it. <laughs> that Dan, Dan puts these things together and they are put together like 100% from the, the things that are submitted. From the submissions. So, like in short, if it's not submitted, it won't be in the video. Um, a good way to do it, I mean, on the vlog, you're, you're on your own. You have to just figure it out by watching them. But on, uh, for breakfast streams, sometimes you can just look at clips. Sometimes those can give you an idea. Sometimes. So you can, you can be on Twitch and actually look through clips and see if there's anything that sticks out, anything that's, like, highly rated or, yeah. or whatever. Um, of course, then you have to find... Then you have to find the timestamp for the YouTube version. That's one. That's one thing. That's the only. That's the only thing that's different from the YouTube version to the Twitch version is that the Twitch version, all the timestamps are pushed forward like somewhere between five and ten minutes because mm -hmm. there's a countdown and the countdown's cut from the the, the yeah. YouTube version. Apologize to anyone if that's super confusing, but um, it's it's fine. 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 It's following a recipe and if you got yourself a recipe then you're already most of the way there that's 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 the way i think of it there's been times where i've cooked stuff 
that I've never made before. And as long as I'm following the recipe, you know, it, you get pretty close. And she says, what if the recipe's bad? Then you, you leave a comment <laughs> on wherever you got the recipe and you go, hey, why does this turn out? <laughs> you know, you know what my, I bet I this. I thought this year you could make me Valentine's Day dinner. Yeah, I can do that. I've done that before. I know what I want. I, something I bet that drives Andrew nuts, because I see this also. People that complain in the comments about a recipe, but they've changed the recipe. So they're like, I did this, except I changed this, and I changed this, and I didn't do this. I changed this, and it turned out terrible. There's definitely been times I've been reading like food articles and junk, and I'm like, well, what the crap do you expect? I know that it called for cardamom, but I put in Jack Daniels whiskey, and I didn't like it. Okay, well. This was too spicy. I used the optional cayenne pepper add-in, and it was too spicy. I mean, yeah, to a certain extent, like, if you know you don't like cayenne, then don't. Deck the halls with bobs of tiny eddies of roasted anteater puffs. Oh, we cooking the animals again. That was a bit from Gamer Girl Life. It says, Tiny Eddie, today is my brother's birthday. What present should I get along with Big Brain Academy? Well, you gotta have some brain food if you're gonna be playing Big Brain Academy. <laughs> nothing, nothing's brainier than oven roasted anteater puffs. Mmm. Mmm. Hope your brother enjoys Big Brain. For the record, we, um, whenever we did that stream, you know, we only showed off multiplayer. Yeah. After the stream ended, I turned on single player just because I was curious. I was like, what does this look like? And it's, it's more fleshed out than the, the multiplayer is. A little, yeah. Because you make a character, like you actually create a person, which after you've made a person, you can use them in verses, but you know, whatever. Um, and then there's like a training regiment type thing where you do little tests and the tests contain multiple things from different categories. So it seems pretty fun as a single player game. I liked the multiplayer in terms of like conception. I didn't like losing to Mal, but you know, I, you know, conceptually, I think maybe at some point for Chefcon we'll We'll play it with everybody. Just, just to see, just to see, just to see. I won't play, but you know, just to see. No, you need to play it. If I want to watch. If you don't play, Chaz won't play. I want to watch. I, who do I want to watch of my friends play this game? Chaz. Mm-hmm. Paul. Mm-hmm. Paul would be good at it. Who else? You. <laughs> I mean, I want to see everyone play it. Yeah. To be, to be frank. Anyway. Coffee. Haley because chaos. I don't know how Haley would. Haley would either like, th like open her third eye and just excel at everything, or she would be in the corner with me. She'd be like, oh. Mm -hmm. I don't think there would be any in between. I think it'd be like one extreme or the other. Alex would be entertaining. Uh, three months from Squeegee O2. Uh, 300 bits from Kimmy Z says, Happy early new year. Going to continue my new, my new tradition with my boyfriend by watching movies I haven't seen before. This year's Harry Potter. This year was supposed to be Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah I think it was last year, or maybe it was the year it before. It was right before the pandemic. Oh, so it was 2020. Mm -hmm. 2020. Early in the year, it's like, yeah, we're going to watch all the Harry Potter films because I've never seen them. And then we didn't. And now Lindsay's moving. <laughs> that really didn't work out, did it? Man. Man. <sighs> it's fine. Someday. <laughs> Rest in peace, Harry Potter films. You will never be seen. I mean, I wanted to watch uh, Lord of the Rings for the anniversary, but 
Yeah. We have them on. We do, yeah. So what do we have them on? We have them on the Black Label Blu-ray. Yeah, that. The Black Label Blu-ray. And it would be nice to see them. Yeah, we got we have that to way. we have to get a machine. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. Like, I know I it's it's a it's a weird circumstance because I know that like at some point I'm gonna own like a PS5. Like I know that, but we don't have one yet. So I'm like. When we do, we have we have Lord of the Rings on the disc, and we'll watch it. Okay. Anyway, where were we? Harry Potter off to hang out with Steve Jobs. <laughs> I do want to watch them. I do. I want to. I want to watch those movies at some point and give like a like a review because like I'm not. So many, so many folks from our generation are very attached to that material because they grew up reading the books, and I didn't. So I don't know I anything did. about it, and I can, you know, just give a like a very like unbiased review opinion of the films specifically, not the story, but the the, the movies. I loved the Lord of the Rings book and movie. And the same thing, yeah, same thing as Lord of the Rings. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't read no book, but I can watch a film. We didn't watch Die Hard 2. I really wanted to watch Die Hard 2. We also didn't make you watch The Princess Switch 2. But I did, still, I did watch 3. There's still time, maybe. like may, It might be like right as we get into the new year, but maybe we'll try and like revitalize our, our movie Sundays by <laughs> doing it. Chaz says, I'm going to clip, I didn't read no book for an alert for time. Did you take the, the song Stephen made yesterday for an alert? Thomas told me he would. Oh, he would? Thomas was like, I'm stealing this, by the way. Yeah, we re I released a vlog yesterday that um, folks seem to have enjoyed. Got a little part in it. That song, a lot of people were like, that song's so great. I love that song. And I'm like, well, that song is, that's a real, it's a song by Popsky. Popsky did the music. Um... So like that's a song that if you like it you can you can own it like Popsky uh, sells it yeah on Bandcamp so like if you like it so support Pops Popsky sometimes uh, pops pops in ha yeah they hate that I'm sure uh, sometimes pops into the stream uh, but hopefully they get a chance to actually see that vlog I think they would find it funny. Okay, where was I? 28 months from runt.exe. 20 months from SafeFrog33. 300 bits from WineRive says, Just curious, including Game Builder Garage in the title probably isn't driving in views like it used to, so do you think you can... Uh, so do you think you can name those videos Grandpa's Game Garage now? Ska. I mean, I don't... Th so here's here's one of the things that I, I struggle with as an individual, and I think after I explain it, everyone will be like, yeah, that makes sense. Um... I am someone who, if I do something a certain way, is there any music? Now there is. I'm someone that if I if I uh, if I do something a certain way, I tend to do it that way forever, which probably makes sense, right? Um, it's very it's very difficult for me to to change things because I am uh, a thousand percent a creature of habit. The upside to this is that if I start a project, I can do it forever. I can I like I can do it forever, and sometimes it's very difficult for me to like rip myself away from a thing. But. That's just that's just who I am. The reason I say all that is because I probably won't change the title. You can't spell Yuletide cheer without Tiny Eddie's Cocoa Knuckle Jelly. <laughs> cocoa Knuckle Jelly. You know the you know what the the way those things should be named, like the way that YouTube would prefer me to name them. Yeah. Is to have them named not like the name of the level, but an interesting title that is relevant to what's happening. Yeah. That is the that is objectively the best way to name those videos. And it's a weird feeling to know that like if I did it that way like they would do better. 
But again, I've already I've already put Game Boy Grouch in the title, so now I'm like, oh. yeah, no series name, no numbers. Maybe I can force myself to do that next year. I doubt it, but <laughs> but probably not. That thousand bits was from It Me Pat. You can't spell Yuletide cheer without Tiny Eddie's cocoa knuckle jelly. Statman said, "Does that go on a knuckle sandwich?" Preferably. Hello, I'm currently on break at my work and I could use a Tiny Eddie snack to get me through the rest of the work day. Happy New Year to both of you. Happy New Year, Pat. Um, I, I hate to be like, Pat, I, <laughs> I think you should have a knuckle sandwich. But with some cocoa knuck knuckle jelly. Tell telling someone to enjoy a knuckle sandwich does seem um, rude. Yeah. Hey, Mao, how would you like to enjoy a... I wouldn't. It does, it, it has a very threatening aura. <laughs> like, what did you say to me? No, really, we, we may have a sandwich made out of knuckles. Three bits from Theralude says, Steven, you have 39 hours to change your profile picture on Twitter. You don't want to disappoint Adri, do you? Do I want to disappoint Adri? No. But will I? <laughs> possible I you know <sighs> remind me at 1 30 to make a new profile picture that's not a guarantee but it does just mean take a photo right now and do it <laughs> for the next 10 years just With glasses. With glasses. Th th that's the other thing I've thought about. Mm -hmm. For years, I mostly did not wear glasses. I wore them occasionally. Mm -hmm. But in the past two years of the pandemic, I've worn them a lot. Becca says, you have the haircut. Yeah, at least your hair is cut right now. Yeah. I could shave. <sighs> I'll try. I... I I, I don't make any promises, but I will try to do it either today or tomorrow. <laughs> Jill says, you can change it, like, monthly. It doesn't have to be ten years. I will have you know it's been twelve. No. Twelve. Twelve? Twelve. Twelve years. I haven't changed my profile picture since 2009. It precedes the vlog by... A certain amount of time, like a month or two. I could do if I think if I changed my profile picture more, like more regularly, then I would get used to it. You know, like yeah. oh, I could just change it. I don't know. I'm someone that when people change their profile pictures, it's very alarming to me, and I think maybe that's why I don't do it. Because when someone changes their profile picture, I'm like. What's going on? Hold on. I I just got used to this. Now it's something different. 23 months from Macau 2. 17 months from a deranged anime. 17 months also from Green Eric 44. 31 months from My Doodle. And 200 bits from deranged anime. Thank you. You're a public figure. If your face is in it, we'll get the idea. Yeah. Yeah, I, I should change it. I know that, you know, a lot of times people are like, you look the same. But the truth is, I, I don't. I, I look I look older. You do look older. I've aged a lot in 12 years. I've aged a lot in two years. Um, so I should, I should take a... I should take a new one. You just look like a, a very, very young Steven in that photo. Yeah. Yeah. Use the picture Microsoft said. I no, no. I I will I will publicly state. I will publicly state right here right now. If Microsoft was willing to meet my demands, and re redo that picture with the sunglasses like I asked for, I would make it my profile picture for one month. Balls in your court, Microsoft. What you gonna do, bud? It's 
So anyway, lots of people did my request, but I want I want Microsoft to do it. Brand says Microsoft is world famous for dropping the ball. Ooh, they should do New Year's because um, we we need that specifically. We need the yeah. Actually, it'd be really it'd be really convenient if they could do this in the next day, because then I wouldn't have to take a photo. I just use this. I should do I should do a profile picture where I'm holding the tiny Eddie bug next to my face, or just wearing the tiny Eddie hat. Hold on, I got one sip left. Okay. So anyway, changing changing gears, changing gears a little bit. I want to talk about as we as we move into this next year, because I didn't know if you knew, but there's going to be um, there's there's going to be a new year like tomorrow. Um, what is it? Oh no, the ham! The ham! I can't Besides hot ham, are you most excited about for next year? Which is a very open-ended question, which could have a lot of different answers. It could be something as simple as a specific video game, or Zildress says video games just in general. It could be about life stuff. It could be about... Maybe like a renewed sense of hope about the world, which is what I personally wish for every year. Getting married. Oh, now that one's exciting. That's a big one. On a related note, Carly, Carly's wedding. Carly's going to be getting married next year too. Moving, getting a job, um, vacation. I'm also excited for vacation. Not that I have like a vacation planned. I'm just excited about the prospect of leaving the house. Further surgery recovery. Wish you well, Dewey. Breath of the Wild 2. I, I am extremely excited. I, I am, um, I'm not convinced Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out next year. Um, if it does, I think it's gonna be winter. I think it's gonna be like Christmas season next year. I hope it comes out next year. Going to see Judas Priest live in April. I mean, I didn't know Judas Priest <laughs> still around to be honest. But that's cool. Uh, losing weight? Uh, yeah, I mean, the New Year's a good time to, to do that. There's a really good CGP gray video about themes yes instead of like resolutions yeah yeah a lot of, a lot of people hate the idea of new new year's resolutions <laughs> but having Woo. a theme for the year is, is good <laughs> and doing doing a health theme is it's great actually do a health theme um i'm gonna be doing a bit a bit of a health theme i have i have some weight to lose that i've gained in the past two months which I'll work on, but also I just kind of want to, I guess, start somewhat changing up my eating habits a little bit. Um, just because I know that as I get older, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to be able to keep eating cholesterol at the rate at which I do. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that I'm going to be fine probably through my 30s for the most part but I'm, I'm trying to think about altering that a little bit now so working on it a little bit Li uh, a few more vegetarian meals here and there things that that contain less cholesterol it's fine and I, I'm still allowed to eat things it's just trying to be a little more mindful when I'm making decisions like okay you know you could get this thing or you could get a better alternative 
and occasionally giving that a better alternative and just trying to like keep that in mind. Uh, we got 300 bits from Pink Matima says, I just wanted to say that I got myself a heated blanket and already about two hours in, I can say it's the best purchase ever. And if you were thinking about it, do it, it's worth it. Uh, we got one of those for my mom for Christmas and she has been happy. Yeah. Really happy with it. Um, also, my dad has been really happy with it because the way that it worked in my parents' house is my mom has this, uh, what is it? It's like a microwave Microwave heating pad. A microwave heating pad thing. And what she would do is, you know, in she gets cold very easily. My my dad would heat it up for her. So like, she'd be on the couch, they'd be watching Netflix or whatever together, and um, my dad would be like, "Is your is your heating pad like, is it cooled down?" And my mom would be like, "Yeah, I guess so." And he goes, "Let me take care of it." So he'd get it and he'd get up and put it in the microwave and microwave it, and like do that all throughout the night. My dad also, my dad's a, a gentleman. Every night before bed, heats that thing up and puts it on my mom's side of the bed. So when she gets into bed, her bed is toasty. In incredible man. But anyway, uh, I it's the the heating blanket is almost a gift to him too because he doesn't have to like keep getting up to he to also, heat up that thing. We rarely have like frost on windshields or snow, obviously. But like if that happens, he'll get up and he'll turn her car around so she doesn't have to back out and he'll scrape the window and brush off the car. Make sure everything is warm and Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's My dad's a class act. Always has been. Uh we got 300 bits from Radio Dread says, I'm looking forward to flying to Florida on January 2nd for a week-long vacation in Miami Beach. Things are still up in the air, but that's at least the plan. Fingers crossed. That's exciting. Have I ever been to Miami? I don't think I've ever no, been to Miami. We haven't I ain't been. been that far south. I want to go down and like see the Everglades and the Keys and stuff. That'd be fun. Yeah. Florida's Florida's got some extreme wildlife. Yeah. That I would love to continue to see. I'd love to uh, to continue. There's to see. um a natural spring like west of Orlando, north of uh, Tampa. Okay. And, and it's like super clear and manatees swim through it and you can kayak. I want to do that. I told Rhonda about that and she was like, yeah. Okay. Neat. Anyway, uh, yeah, good luck on your, um, on your vacation. I am, uh, I am excited about getting a chance to see everyone for Coliseum. I know that that's still technically two months away, a little less than two months away. Okay. Um, and like, there, I, I have to be like completely transparent. There's still like a little nervousness, right? Because yeah. we're getting a lot of people together. Um, Coffee. But I also know that everyone is, is as responsible as they can possibly be. Um, they, everyone's been, you know, vaccinated and boosted and is relatively careful in their day-to-day -day lives. So I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm excited to, to, to try it. It's Coliseum early. Yes, it's, it's uh, yeah, February 26th to 28th, which is the earliest that we've done it. Earliest, earliest that we've done it um, by far. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Adrian, good vibes. Good vibes. 300 from Adrian says, any good vibes? Too many reasons why, but the big one is just having some more warm to sleep in the new year. We wish you well. The chat certainly does as well. Um, we got eight months from uh, Yami Florence. 300 from uh, Satsi says, as we end 2021, I hope to leave the chaos behind. Like learning I have vermin and losing a tooth when I last brushed my teeth. Let's hope 2022 starts better than that at least. There was definitely parts of 2021 that were not great. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, I mean, that's true for everyone for every year, right? Like, even if it was the best year that you had in 2020, I don't know that anyone had the best year of their life in 2021. 
Maybe you did, but like even if you did, there's gonna be parts that you're like, I wish this would have changed. I wish this would have been different. Um, and I'm hopeful, for everyone's sake, that 2022 can be a better year than, than 2021. For us, um, the last two years, they haven't been the best, but they haven't been the worst. 2020 was not great. No. 2020 was not great. So let's exclude 2020. 2021 wasn't the worst year, uh, just also wasn't the best year. I'm, I'm hoping to, uh, and I've talked about this already, one of my big resolutions for 2022 is I just need to see people more. Um, that's the big thing that I want to change. It's a big thing I want to change. Um, I want to see my friends more, and I'm getting a chance to do that in a big way in, in February, which is one of the reasons why I'm so excited to, to do Coliseum, is that I want to see folks. Um, it's still been, it's going to be three years since we've seen Alex and Haley mm -hmm. soon, and that's mm -hmm. insane, and I'm hoping to remedy that. Um, and there's some other folks that we haven't seen, and we're, we're starting to like slowly make some plans, just very slowly figure some stuff out, and it's, it's nice. It's just really nice. Yeah, this is good fitting music. <sighs> the realization that we may be stuck with the the pandemic for a long time is like a sobering one. And I hate it. And to a, to, a, to a certain extent, like, you can only do so much, and then you just have to continue to try and live life and enjoy things, and that's yeah. the way I've been approaching it. And that's one of the reasons why I'm like, despite my worry, I'm still excited about doing Coliseum. Yeah. Brandon says, 2021 was the year everyone learned that, it feels like. That, that's, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. The, the, the reality of, of knowing that this is, this is not going away and that it's not something we fix, it's something we adapt to is the big, the big thing. Yeah. It's like... We have to just make changes in our own lives to work around this to the best of our abilities. And like, there are definitely, there are definitely wrong ways to do things. Um, and I get a chance to see some of that. Yeah. In, like, I have, I have extended family that they have done, they have done things in a wrong way. And I'm like, what are you doing? Because there's at least baselines of like, at least do this. Um, but for us, I mean, it's, we just, you know, a certain amount of things you do and then you just kind of get through it. And that's why next year our, our, our step is to take care of our mental faculties by engaging in social activity a little bit more. Yeah. I really have to say um, thank you all so much for being here. And I, I know that this does a lot for you too, but like Twitch is a social environment. Um, I really think, especially last year, but this year as well, like I think we probably would have went crazy mm -hmm. if we couldn't have had the ability to have social interaction with Twitch chat. Like is like, is like a necessary thing. It's like an it's it's an absolutely necessary thing to to be able to engage with with people, and it's just been really it's been really. I know it's been helpful for others because I I hear people talk about it, but like it's helpful for us too. So, um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thanks. But next year. Next year, hopefully, be better. And we still got so much cool stuff planned for yeah, for, for Twitch. Like, 
I think I think that's the big thing is that you know we've we've been stuck in the house and um, we've been thinking ahead and looking ahead about what we want to do and uh, we have so many ideas for for projects and yeah, even like I was talking about earlier I spent a lot of time yesterday just working on some stuff that's coming up soon that and you're I'm, really excited about I am really excited about mm-hmm I really am. Whenever we are like in the kitchen cooking or like when we drove yesterday, that's all you talked about. <laughs> I, well, I love what I do. Um, I like, I mean, I, I like the idea of entertaining folks, but beyond that, Twitch especially, like creating an environment that is just fun and engaging and interactive for folks. I enjoy it. I just really enjoy it, you know? So thinking about things in terms of like, what can we do next? What can, how can we make this idea even better? How can we make this idea even more interactive? Like, what can we come up with? It's just, it's really cool. And um, I also got to say a huge thank you to... Uh, to Chaz, because Chaz is a big part of that and comes up with all sorts of things. Hi, Subby. Tom, you're still not home? <sighs> Tom, where are you? Where are you at? Unless you're driving. Which, well, I guess I guess you can let, yell at your car, right? Your car can, can fill out things. Well, tell us where He's you are. He's lost in a Bucky's. <laughs> Bucky's is big enough that he could be... He could be literally driving through it. Today should be the last driving day. Okay, well, tell us, tell us where you are. I'm just curious how far you've you've made it. Arkansas in a hotel. My apologies to everyone from Arkansas. I definitely forgot that was a state. Also, what a good song to start playing when Arkansas is finished. <laughs> Thomas. Dan, Dan, Dan. <laughs> Tom, what is your exact longitude? <laughs> Don't tell me. Uh, that subby, by the way, was from James at seven months at Tier 3. Thank you, James. Um, and uh, James asked about uh, John Madden's passing. Yeah, if folks didn't hear, John Madden passed. Uh, it, was just, it was just days ago. Was just, yeah. I think, actually, it was since last breakfast stream. So it's yeah. just been within, like, a day or two. And it's, it's, it's incredibly sad. It, it, Here's, here's, I think, the thing that's most interesting about John Madden for Coffee. this community and, like, when I say this community, I'm talking about, like, the video game community. John Madden is, is this really interesting person which exists at a strange crossroads between the sports world and the video game world in a way that, like, I don't think anyone else does. And I think that's a really... That is a really bizarre legacy, and it probably won't mean much to folks outside of the video game world. But for someone that's within the video game world, when I look out at his legacy, I'm like, that is such a weird, unique Venn diagram. Like, people don't get... People aren't going to leave that sort of mark. Mm -hmm. um, because if you are in the sports world, you know who John Madden is. But if you've ever played a video game, you know who John Madden is. Um, and it's just a really bizarre, it's a really bizarre legacy. Uh, there are, there might be more video games with Madden's name in them than any other game. Maybe Mario. I don't know. So, yeah, Tony Hawk. Yeah, I bet, I bet Madden and Tony Hawk are the two. I'm trying to think of anyone else. For a while, Ken Griffey. Mm-hmm. But not anymore. Madden, Madden, Madden had that staying power, because growing up as a kid, there was, there was Madden games, and now today still there are Madden games. Tiger Woods is is probably close to one, yeah. Yeah, and he was yeah he was also a Super Bowl um, coach coach for the Raiders. So like really long, interesting life, for sure. Um, when I think of John Madden, though, <laughs> this is this is 
This is probably not the best way to remember him, but when I think of John Madden, I will always remember one of the Madden games for Super Nintendo. I'm not sure which one it was, maybe 94. When you start up the game, there is... they. There was, there's only so much animation you could do for Super Nintendo, yeah. but there's like, it starts up and it's a few different frames of him and he's like, the first time I ever played that game and I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness. Your own, yeah, the little animatronic John Madden. Anyway, rest in peace. Um, what an interesting, interesting legacy he's left. Uh, three to bits of mailing well says, speaking of how important your streams are, breakfast stream single-handedly helped me fix my sleep schedule before I started working again, so thank you. Awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. It, I mean, it's a powerful motivator for, like, well, it's a powerful motivator for us, because, like, we literally have to do it. Uh, I thought about sleeping in today. I don't think that would have, uh, worked out well for you when I would have gotten the guitar and <laughs> played you a, a close personal song <laughs> you are allowed to sleep in after surgery that was fun <laughs> football is a sport go Packers we've loaded down Santa's sling with Tiny Eddie's ocean brownie rounds that was from Unbent Reagent it's my birthday Tiny Eddie what's my treat for today ah ocean brownie rounds ocean rounds They don't stay together very well because they're made of ocean. <laughs> oh, brownies, but th you use ocean water instead of normal Masonic water. Sonic ocean water? Salty. They're very salty brownies. Yum. Now a new festive holiday you're wrapping. Tiny Eddie's earthy hot air balloon mini donuts. Just sound interesting. That's from Aaron the, Aaron the Baron. It says, since it's last days of it, things I'm thankful for this year for me, losing a large amount of weight, two and a half pant sizes, and starting a relationship. I mean, those are those are good things. Yeah. Those are good things. Also a good thing, earthy hot air balloon mini donuts. I like the idea of hot air balloon donuts. Like they're served to you. And they're so like... They're so light and fluffy. Yeah, they just melt. Yeah, actually, I like uh, I like that idea of um, things that like good things that happened this year. Yeah, and then we talked about what we want for like next year. Um, but what looking back on twenty twenty one, if there was something good and memorable that happened, what what happened? Like, what is something that you're going to walk away from twenty twenty one and say, you know what? That was a good thing. Curious. I Do mean, you, mine is surgery. Yeah, yours is obvious. Yeah. The best, I think it's really important to like, remember that that is such a big deal. Like for, in, in terms of like your your life, mm -hmm. that's like a, that's a big deal. Yeah. It's gonna make a big deal for, you know, for a while. Uh, new niece, bought a house, got a dog. Uh, getting into grad school, uh, quit my horde job. Also, yeah, I mean, if you get a job or if you quit a bad job, both can be very, very good. Uh, gain counseling. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen and Walker. <laughs> Completely fair. It's okay. I mean, it, that, like that's fine. Like if there's a if there's a video game that like you know brought you a lot of comfort or joy this year, that's absolutely that's absolutely a valid answer. You know. Made best friends, highest university marks, art improved, graduated high school, graduated college, got, got a job. Engaged. Better sense of self is a good answer. Yeah. That's a really good answer. Um, bettering mental health. <laughs> Jiggery. Nice read. Reed reached 100 video game paintings this year. I forgot I graduated college. <laughs> Two internships, full-time job, uh, therapy, moved out. All 
sorts of stuff. Oh yeah, Metroid came out this year. There's a lot of games. It's nice to read that so many folks focused on their uh, mental health this year. Yeah. I think I think especially after 2020, you almost you almost had to. Yeah. You know, you really if if you didn't if you weren't doing it before, it's like a realization of like, oh, I really need to like do things to yeah. to uh, take care of myself. Um, and you do. You really do, because uh, it's, it's been a rough two years. Uh, 300 Bits from Maxman, who says, 2021 has been a wild year for me. I quit my really awful job. Shortly after that, my cat Star passed away at the age of 17. I spiraled into a massive depressive state that I only just got out of. And lastly, I got a new job at Savers, a.k.a. Value Village. This year was tough, but it did end on a good note, at least. I mean... That's good, yeah. you know, at the very least. Um, and it, there actually, there's something to be said, and I, it's mostly just a like a psychological thing of trying to end the year on a good note, or at least looking for the good to end the year on a good note. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There's something about a renewed hope for the next year, that if you're ending the year and you're like, okay, like maybe things are starting to look up, or maybe... Um, you know, I've, I, I have plans to try and better myself in some way uh, for the next year. I think that helps a lot, to be honest. Um, and just trying to to position your 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 view of everything that's gone on in such a way that you're like, okay, I'm gonna come out of this better. I think is really helpful. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, especially for you, yeah, because you've had. You you had a you had a very much like a suffer in silence thing for the past two years, and now you're. Yesterday was eight weeks. Mal can lift more than ten pounds as of yesterday, so I'm making her move all the furniture. Builds character. Mostly, she can pick up the cat. Yeah, hey, her radio jet mouth can lift a Kepi. And he's That's heavier. It. Yeah, Kepi's got to lose a little weight. Kepi's got to lose a little weight. He's supposed to be closer to 14 pounds, and he's he's currently at, uh, at 16 pounds. So we're cutting back his food just a little bit. He's not happy. No, he's not. He's getting a little vocal a little early on his meals. He's like, I want to eat now. And I'm like, mm, mm, you can wait. Oh, hi, buddy. We're talking about you. Oh, he yeah. likes to be talked to. We're talking about my friend. My little son. Yeah. You got to lose two pounds. That's a lot for a kitty, I know. I mean, the thing about him is that he doesn't look big because Kepler's built like... He's a, so long. He's a pretty big cat. And I wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't have weighed him. But I weighed him and I'm like, eh. Let's have you trending down and not up. He said, okay. He heard you talking about food and yeah. he wanted oh, some. Who wants some food? We got three into bits of Adrian. It says, honestly, I will always, always be glad I got so into Final Fantasy XIV and got to experience Endwalker on release. The social aspects helped through 2020 and the story helped through both 2020 and 2021. So many aspects that stay with me, but especially the writing and the music. And I, you know, like I was saying, if a, if a game influenced your, your life in a big way this year, that's great. Uh, video games are really good about that. Um, but for a lot of people, it's going to be Final Fantasy XIV. Just because we we actually, uh, on the Discord server, we ha we had to start a new channel for it. Because there were so many discussions um, happening about Final Fantasy XIV in the, gen like the, the general video games channel that it had to be broken off and just made a new channel. Which is fine, it's just... That's how popular, you know, it is. So, just like Animal Crossing. Oh, is it bean time? Would you like to roll the last sure. beans? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Thomas. Is Thomas still here? Does Thomas want to roll the beans? I don't know if he's still here. He's sometimes in and out on breakfast. I thought maybe... Thomas, would you like to roll the last beans of the year? Go ahead, buddy. You roll the beans. Also, 39 months from uh, Mr. Incredible Noob Lord. Thank you. Thomas says, let's just keep it hella simple. 
we're all we're all waiting. The last beans of 2021. Yeah, this is, yeah, Jess. In a minute, I am hitting the button. <laughs> Roll the beans into the new year. Yay. Thank you, Thomas. Truly, you are the master of skip it to wop, do do wop, pow, or whatever it was you said. <laughs> I, uh, I was working on that vlog, and I was like, man, I was like, Chaz is going to be mad that I spent so much time with it. It really didn't take that long. It probably looks more complicated than it was. I think it took me about half an hour to do that section. It wasn't bad. It's fine. It's fine. When you finished it, you you told me, you, you were like, Chaz is not going to be happy. But it didn't take me that long. Yeah, it looks, it looks more complicated than it was. Like, if I would have went a different route with it. Yeah. If I would have tried to, like, I don't know, composite Thomas out and do weird stuff, that that very quickly grows into multiple hours of work. But most of what I was doing was just, like, stock video effects on it. It's fine. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Chess says, why would I not be happy? Perhaps I am actually not happy about spending all day on 15 revisions of a stream layout that you don't need yet. Jazz, it's got to be done early. It's got to be done early. It's going great, though. It's going great. Anyway, four months from Robolane. Robolane, thanks. I'm trying to get everything... I'm trying to get everything set... Um, for the next... The next thing. Yeah. Because I'm excited. I'm excited and... Uh, this will very easily be the most technical. The next stream series will be the most technical stream series we've done in terms of like on screen stuff. Uh, and that's just fun. Yeah. It's just a really fun thing. We'll talk about it in January. You know, Drew says, it doesn't need to be, but... Yeah, I know. I know. I like making things difficult uh, for no reason. Vagabond says, what about Link's Awakening? Link's Awakening was pretty... Check. Honestly, I'm still so proud of Link's Awakening because it's such an, a unique idea. Yeah. I really loved doing that series, um, just conceptually. And I, there's still so many people that don't even know... Um, they haven't seen it and haven't seen that we've done it. it's it's a really cool idea to actually go through games that are basically Same. identical mm -hmm. just to get to see the little like differences and stuff so yeah anyway i'm i'm excited about next year because we've got all sorts of fun fun ideas three different mr capital new lord says uh, just have to say storybook workshop is probably the hardest i've laughed at one of your videos shout out to our friends shout out to our friend bathroom Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> I think the funniest part is that um, because I couldn't hear what the audience heard doing yeah. storybook is that some of those voices, I didn't know that they were completely unintelligible. I had no idea. I, I thought that folks could understand what I was saying. And only when I, you know, played the tape back, I was like, oh, for like a good portion of the video, it's just... <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, they can't, they couldn't understand what I was saying. <laughs> this is my other brother, Daryl. Shout out to, uh, to Bob Newhart, wherever he is. Is he dead? Uh, is Bob Newhart dead? Bob Newhart is alive. Bob Newhart is 92 years old. Wow. So in that case, shout out to Bob Newhart. Love it. Shout out to Bob Newhart. Where's our Bob Newhart alert? 
we used to have one. I'm pretty sure we had a Bob Newhart alert, and now it's just it's missing in action. All right, let's wrap up for today um, by starting with Thursday. Extra Life. What is on Extra Life today? Don't let your New Year's ball drop without Tiny Eddie's Cinnamon Cat Brownies. Oh, that's cute. Cinnamon Cat Brownies. Cake Mania, that's it. Uh, cinnamon Cat Brownies. You know, it reminds me of those little, what are them things? The brownies you owe me? No. The bears. They have bears and they're cinnamon. Cinnamon. Teddy Grahams. Teddy, teddy Grahams. Teddy Grahams. They're like teddy grams, but they're cat-shaped. Also, they're brownies, so never mind. <laughs> I was so focused on cinnamon cat, I forgot about the brownies. <laughs> Thousand bits from Soul C.P. John says, everyone get a, t a tasty, tiny Eddie snack. It's cinnamon cat brownies. I mean, that sounds good. Maybe See, they're brownies. my brownie first thought was <gasps> the brownies in their cat shapes shaped of cat heads. Or I guess the whole cat. brownies. That, that was my thought. Is cinnamon brownies like a thing? I don't know. Because I've never had a cinnamon brownie, but I would be very willing to partake in this experiment of human happiness. We also had five gifts up some Twitchy Toes to Aaron G. Heels, 13th Arcana, New Haze Order, JC1K, and Flying Rat 67 Twitchy Toes. Thank you. <laughs> Reed gifted us up to my other brother, Daryl. And New Lord gifted us up to Cinnamon Cat. So Cake Mania is the Extra Life uh, today. Um, also, yes, Andrew. there are multiple vlogs out. I recommend, personally, Cool Dude, since folks have been enjoying that. Um, and I'll try to get some more vlogs out today. I don't have any ready. Sometimes, as I move into Coffee. a day, I have some ready to release. I don't, so um, if none come out today, I didn't get anything done. Exciting. Uh... Anything else? When's your uh, video coming out? Uh, we talked about Friday or Saturday. Okay. It's almost done and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is a game Mao has painted before. There's a your- A couple times. There's your- Okay, well, Mao, hold- Mao! Mao! I narrowed it down here! You just narrowed it down to here! Hold on there, pal! That was a- that was a heck of a hint! Well, now that now they know it's between like one of like five or six things. <sighs> anyway, it's good. It's really good. A couple times. <laughs> How many times have I painted? Oh my goodness. So anyway, um, now that you know what it could possibly be, that'll be out soon, and uh, it, it is. It's really it's really pretty. Thank really, you. really pretty. Um, like, Mal's done an incredible job. Like, it looks like a screenshot. And she's done a really good job. I'm excited. Uh, and that's, like, basically it. Like, join us tomorrow, obviously. Yeah. Um, tomorrow we'll be uh, doing our normal stream time. 8 o'clock p.m. Q&A, game. Not in that order, but yep. Some sort of ball dropping. Also got 26 months from Seraphim2000. And three bits from JC Jax that says, just curious, what's your resolution for 2022? I have a, I just have a simple resolution, 1920 by 1080. I actually, what is... So, I use a 5K and a 4K screen. 4K is uh, 3840 by 2160. What is 5K? 51... 51... 20... No, 51 something? I don't know. 5120 by 2880. Okay. 5120 by 2880. Yeah. So that. I have a lot of. I have a lot of K's. A, co a combined of nine K's. There are many. There are many K's up here.
All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. It is the last Thursday of the year. I hope it is the best Thursday of your entire life. <laughs> it might be asking a lot, but you know what? I hope for someone here today, it's the best Thursday of their whole life. <laughs> it probably won't be all of you, but maybe like at least one person is going to come back on tomorrow night and be like, yesterday was the best Thursday of my life. I'm setting high expectations for one of you. I don't know who, but one of y'all. This will still work. Have a good one. See you tomorrow night for our last stream of the year. Our New Year's Eve stream. And also kind of our first stream of next year. You know, because it... A little bit, yeah. Because that's how... Yeah. That's, and especially if you live in a different time zone. Like the UK or Australia. Oh. Oh, we won't even start until it's the new year yeah. there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well then, if you're in the UK, this is the last stream of your year. Anyway, we're done.